YouTube family to my Facebook family. Um, I just wanted to, um, I wanted to share this thought I have really quickly. It's been on my spirit, and so um, I'm gonna share it. My, 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 my uh, question for all of the wives out there today, this is a transparent wife moment. I wanna know, do you know what your husband is there to heal? What is your husband there to heal inside of you? As uh, some may know, many may know who follow myself and my husband, we do this work with uh, couples and families trying to help people uh, be in relationship and, and push through relationships and push through the difficult stuff. And one thing that I have noticed in uh, the time that I've been doing this work, time and time and time and time again, it never ever ceases to fascinate me and amaze me but as I talk to, to couples and my husband and I are doing our assessment I'm like oh it, it always is really clear he's supposed to teach her A and she's supposed to teach him B you know she doesn't really uh, have experience with or she hasn't been exposed to A and he really is coming up short with and never had a model with regards to B. And so they're supposed to uh, teach this to each other. And so they're rubbing up against each other. They are getting up in each other's stuff, irritating each other and agitating one another. But at the end of the day, um, that's what they're supposed to be doing. And so my question to you today is whether you uh, realize this or not, whether you're aware of it or not, uh, uh, first let me just say this, your partner is there to teach you something. We're always attracted to our divine opposite, our divine complement, and the very thing that we're attracted to in that person oftentimes is the thing that gets on our last nerves or that uh, in some way we don't have, you see. And so if I just be the transparent wife today, I I I'll, I'll share with you that my husband absolutely came into my life and a part of uh, his blessing on my life was to teach me, to teach me compassion, to teach me patience and to teach me how to be open and and open up my heart and um, and I'm just really 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 thankful I don't know why look my son keep calling trying to mess up my situation here let's just ignore that ring and keep on going with this flow um, you know I I, I uh, for those who don't know you know, my, my father was on again, off again. He wasn't around. My parents got divorced when I was little. My, my stepfather, who was my daddy, he stepped in when I was six years old and married my mother. And so um, he was able to, you know, come in and stand in the gap in places where my father uh, was not there. Uh, but even though he stood in the gap, um, there are still things that will always be missing when your biological parent did not give it to you. And so... When when I when I was when I was when I was paired up with my husband, you know, he challenged me, but he blessed me and he loved me, um, and and I pushed him away because I'm like, what is he doing? What is this about? And what was he doing? He was being compassionate. He was loving on me. He was seeing me in ways that I didn't see myself. Um, he had so much patience, um, and he was easy like water. And to this day, he's easy. He's easy like water. He just flows, you know, and, and, and he teaches me to have an open heart and to give of myself um, and, and, to, and, to, and, to, and to just be open to love, you know. And likewise, I'm sure he would say, and I can say this with confidence because, you know, we married and stuff and we've been talking about this stuff, so I know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> he would say for sure that, um, you know, I'm here to teach him um, you know, some things regarding uh, boundaries and how to have uh, uh, some, how to take better, take better care of, of yourself and, you know, be able to uh, use your divine discernment to make sure that you're not giving so much of yourself, um, that you are used up and dried up and, um, and that, and that you uh, have this, this, this good sense of healthy self-care going on. Yeah. So you see how that works. You see how he can get from me what I have and I can get from him what he has and what it is that I have, you know, he, he didn't have all the way, you know, he, he needs to sometimes my husband, you know, beautiful man that he is, that man is, is a walking, uh, a uh, heart. He's, he's just, he's just a giver is who he is. And, and his background, uh, made him that way. And, and there's beauty in it. And there's also lesson and, and, um, some caution in that. And same thing for me, my, my, my background, you know, maybe that way where, you know, look, 
I'm keeping everybody, you know, at an, at an arm's length as I assess the situation and, um, <laughs> you know, be clear that, you know, I'm not going to open myself up too much because I'm on guard. I'm going to be competent, but I'm not going to be totally open, you know, and, and there's blessing in that, but there's also burden in that. And so I just thank God today. And I hope that this is, uh, if this is spoken to you at all in any way, that you just pause and you just give thanks for a minute. And if you don't know the answer to the question that you ask yourself the question, what is it that she is here to teach me? What is it that he is here to teach me? What is it? If, you, if you're looking at this, share it with your spouse so that you, you can go beyond the friction. You can go beyond the disappointment. You can go beyond the arguing, beyond the conflict, beyond all that kind of stuff. And, and, and really understand that this is, this is what it means to, to merge together. It means that there's conflict and it means that there's agitation. But uh, at the same time, it's, it's, it's all divinely supposed to happen because you're supposed to be learning something uh, in marriage and you're supposed to be helping each other to spiritually grow and go to the next level. So that's all, y'all. My son keep calling me, so I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope that this has been of help. In the meantime, stop playing and start pushing.